Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and I welcome you all to the second part of the recursion This is another video in the free DSA series that we are building so that your career takes off and lands at the destination where you want to go So without wasting any time I'll move ahead before we deep dive do the daily ritual go ahead follow us on various social media handles mentioned here so that you never miss a hiring update also top 3 comments today get prep insta prime for free so do not miss your chance there i'll straight away deep dive further so what we are going to solve today is fibonacci sequence what is it how we'll solve it using recursion everything i'll cover in this video don't worry so talking about the fibonacci sequence if i tell you what is it everybody would have seen something like this in their engineering no something like this right this is basically fibonacci sequence for those who haven't seen it or for those who are seeing it for the first time this sequence is governed by this function f of n equals to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 basically it says for example this is the term that you want to calculate okay so you need to add these terms the terms before it okay this is what fibonacci sequence says the previous two terms are added to get the next term for example if i want to get this i'll add these two 1 plus 1 2 very simple that's how it functions okay and in this the given condition is f of 0 the zeroth term in this sequence is 0 and the first term in this sequence is 1 remember this is zeroth term this is not the first term of fibonacci sequence let me tell you this is the zeroth term of fibonacci sequence in a standard fibonacci sequence this is the zeroth term this is first this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth term okay so that is how you have to proceed further with the fibonacci sequence very simple now What we are trying to do in this pseudo code, हम करना क्या चाह रहे हैं इस कोड में? So what we are trying to do is that we'll calculate the nth term in the Fibonacci sequence, right? For example, if I want to calculate the fifth term in the Fibonacci sequence, I'll pass five here, okay? I'll pass n equal to five. Very simple, okay? यहाँ तक आप लोग साथ हैं, ठीक है? Normal चीज़ है, कोई बड़ी चीज़ नहीं है इसमें. So what we drew ahead in this. say that we have passed fibonacci of 5 okay now the first thing that this function would check is is 5 less than equal to 1 is 5 less than equal to 1 is it true no it is not this is absolutely false so this code piece this if block would not execute very simple we'll go ahead and we'll see if this is not functioning then this else block would go ahead and execute what will happen it would execute these two functions again basically it is a recursive call so what would happen is this would lead to fibonacci of n minus 1 basically 5 minus 1 which is 4 so fibonacci of 4 plus fibonacci of 3 okay 5 minus 2 is 3 that is how the code will function now again for fibonacci of 4 the 4 would be passed there 4 is not less than equal to 1 so this would again not execute you go ahead to the else block fibonacci of 4 minus 1 is fibonacci of 3 fibonacci of 4 minus 2 is 2 okay that is how it executes basically i'll tell you what exactly execution would look like so this is how a tree can be formed out of it i'll call fibonacci as fib for the short form okay so fib of 5 would lead to fib of 4 and fib of 3 as you saw now fib of 4 would lead you to fib of 3 and fib of 2 fib of 3 would further lead you to fib of 2 and fib of 1 fib of 2 would lead you to fib of 1 and fib of 0 now if you carefully see as soon as we encounter fib of 1 1 would be passed here if n is less than equal to 1 basically 1 is less than equal to 1 1 is equal to 1 right so it is true so it would return n as soon as you reach to fibonacci of 
you would immediately return 1 because you will return n, whatever n is passed. Say fib of 0, you reach fib of 0. Basically, this portion. If you reach this portion, what you get is fib of 0, 0 is less than 1. This piece executes and you return 0. So basically, this would execute whenever fib of 1 or fib of 0 is executing. Okay. So what we do here is we'll further see fib of 1 and fib of 0 in this case because 2 will again get partitioned into these two right here also this would happen in a similar manner fib of 2 and fib of 1 fib of 2 is nothing but fib of 1 and fib of 0 so what happens here is you get the result of these two return it here you get the result of these two return it here you get the result of these two return it here how do you get the result of this by using these two right what happens here i'll tell you I'll use a different ink so that you get a better hang of things. Fib of 1 would, would return 1. Fib of 0 would return 0. Why so? Fib of 1 says if 1 is e less than or equal to 1, which is true, so it would return n. So n is 1, so 1 would be returned. Similarly, in the case of 0, if 0 is less than or equal to 1, which is true, so it would return n, which is 0. So 0 is returned. Okay. Now 1 plus 0, how is it functioning? This is the equation which was executed for, executed for fib of 2, right? So for this particular code piece, these would add 1 plus 0, 1. Now fib of 1 is 1 as you computed, 1 plus 1, 2, right? Here also 1, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, 2 plus 1, 3. Here also 1 and 0, 1 plus 0, 1. Fib of 1 returns 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 3 plus 2 equals to 5. So basically the fifth term which is this particular term fifth term is five we computed that right but an interesting thing that i'll tell you is this is how we imagine that compiler functions but compiler doesn't function like that what compiler does is it basically first of all executes this particular portion it would not move ahead even in the second part of the statement until unless this particular portion is computed what I'll uh, what I'm trying to say I'll explain just imagine that for fib Fibonacci of 5 you reached here and as soon as you try going beyond Fibonacci of 4 the computer doesn't understand that the computer says I'll stay here I'll first of all compute Fibonacci of 4 then it again goes down then it says I'll compute that Fibonacci of 3 then I'll move forward basically until unless it gets the result of Fibonacci of 4, it would not proceed further. As soon as it gets it, it would proceed further, go into Fibonacci of 3, then it would compute it. Until unless it gets the result, it would not add it. Very simple, right? But till this particular piece is computed well, you cannot go ahead in this. Very simple. Now, I'll explain you what I was saying. It, it is a bit tricky portion to understand like that but once I draw the tree it would be super simple for you okay so I'll change the ink so that you understand it better fib of 5 I told you it would partition in fib of 4 and fib of 3 that much you understand but what computer does is it would just go and split into fib of 4 it won't move ahead it won't go to the second portion of the statement it would first try and compute this particular portion. Fib of 4, it would try and split it. So again that first portion comes, again this execution comes where Fib of 3 we get for Fib of 4. When we pass Fib of 4 here, we get Fib of 3 here, right? So it would again try to get Fib of 3. Then it would try to compute it. For that it would go to Fib of 2. To compute this, it would go to Fib of 1. Now it the computer knows that as soon as I pass fib of 1, I get this code piece gets executed and I get n as the returned value, which is basically 1 in this case. So it would return 1 here. Okay. Now it moves to the second portion, which says n minus 2, which is 2 minus 2, which is fib of 0. Again, fib of 0 can be re uh, re returned using that particular if block, if you see. So it would be returned again. So what it does is, 
it gives you zero here as the returned value. So one plus zero, now the plus would execute here. One plus zero gives you one. Now the fib of two gives one as the returning value and this value would be returned to fib of two. As soon as it gets this value, the second portion executes. Fib of one. Fib of one can be executed using this because the same pattern would be followed here if block would be executed and one would be the return value then this one plus one would return two here right this would go ahead make fib of two now computer again does that computation it again divides it to fib of one gets the value one here goes ahead fib of zero gets the value zero here one plus zero returns one again here. okay very simple now this two plus one is nothing but 3 which would be returned here as soon as 3 comes out as the value for fib of 4 what it does is it goes ahead for the second part gets fib of 3 again it would compute the fib of 3 in the similar fashion fib of 2 not known fib of 1 using if block gets 1 as the value goes again fib of 0 for this particular portion gets 0 as the value as explained earlier 1 plus 0 goes 1. Now, this fib of 1 can be returned using the same if block again. 1, 1 plus 1, 2. Now, this 3 and this returned value 2 would add up and go ahead and this would be 5, which is the final answer. This is how actual recursion takes place when you try it for Fibonacci sequence. Let me tell you, recursion is not a very good idea for Fibonacci sequence. I'll explain you further when I'll explain the time complexity in recursion. But the basic thing, basic thing that you can understand here is that if you try and check this fib of 1, fib of 0, fib of 2 was computed multiple times in this approach. We, go, we had this result here itself, but we again computed it here, again computed it here, which basically means the repetition of operations was done and time was wasted here. Okay. So remember that recursion is not a good idea to implement Fibonacci sequence, okay? On that note, I leave this video so that next time when you come for the next class, this is a homework for you, go ahead and check. How can you solve Fibonacci sequence in an optimized manner? Or what can be the time complexity for this? Just try it for your sake. I'll explain you how to calculate the time complexity for recursive functions, but just for information sake just for knowing things better go ahead try it okay and before i wrap up again i'll repeat join these channels follow us on social media handles so that you never miss a hiring update top three comments today get prep insta prime for free so go ahead and do comment on this video and keep spreading the knowledge keep doing good good will come back to you thank you